All right. Good day, everybody. Uh, welcome to Saturday Business Builder Call. Uh, it is Saturday, September 24th, special day. I'll tell you why in just a little bit. Um, Breezy, how are you doing today? Breezy, can you join me on the mic for a second? Absolutely. Good morning, okay, hey. David. <laughs> I, need, I need you to buy me like a like five minutes. Absolutely. So if you would do me a huge favor and just uh, start welcoming folks as they're coming into the room. We still have some people joining us. We appreciate you guys. I'm also going to hand over uh, host controls to you. Awesome. All right. Good morning, everybody. Breezy is going to welcome everybody in. I need just a couple of minutes and I'll be right back. And of course, you know how we're going to get our call started here today. So I want you to start thinking about what's been amazing for you in your life, work and week. And then we're going to come back, talk about that in just a little bit. Thank you, Breezy. Welcome, Absolutely. everybody. Good morning, everybody, to the Saturday EasyBot Business Builder Call, where you're going to get educated on how to grow your team and just get some motivation to know what EasyBot can do for you and the motivation of everyone and how they feel today and last week and for the future as well. So with that, I would like to say welcome to Abdur, Brian Frazier. Good morning, Coach Ken. Edwidge with Crypto Diva, Danny. We've got... Michael for Dynasty Builders. We have Edmund, Gabrielle. We have Jay Miller, Josh, Kirk, Uncle Les, the beautiful Mrs. Charles, Mr. G, uh, Mrs. G, excuse me, Nan. We've got Peter and Renee in the house. We've got Russell, Sharita. We have wonderful Susan, Thomas. We have Zach Ketnell, and we have TC. Um, my volume did not connect properly to my headphones, so we're going to go ahead and ask for anyone who has some gratitude to share with all of us today. Um, it doesn't have to be about EasyBot. It can be about anything that is happening in your life that you would want to share that you have come out of in a positive light, whether it was negative, whether it was positive, something to show that we're here as humans communicating with each other to know that there is a brighter future and EasyBot is part of that bright future for everybody. So with that being said, if you wanna share something that you're grateful for today, please raise your hand. You can also drop it in the chat if you're shy. If this is your first time here, welcome to the call. If you've been here before and you come because you know what Saturday calls can do for you, welcome back but waiting for a couple of people to show their gratitude for today. Don't all rush to raise your hand. We know you're grateful for something today. I'm grateful that I got to wake up. I'm grateful that I just had a cha-ching on my, my business glue telling me to come to this call. Michael, please join us and tell us what you're thankful for. Well, good morning, everybody. And uh, again, appreciate you, Breezy, as always. I guess I just uh, very thankful for everything happening in the company and what the exec team is doing. And, you know, again, with everybody here, I mean, these are the people you have to realize this is the beginning. You know, I was just talking to someone. Uh, I've been in this industry for a long time, as many of you know, you know, we're not even 200 days into this journey. And I want everybody to realize that most companies, you know, it takes them a year to two years to really start catching on. And so what David and Coach and Muhammad and Breezy and Peter have accomplished, you know, that's something we all need to be grateful for because we're so far. I mean, have we had glitches? Had we had bumps? Absolutely. But the thing they've done has been transparent to where, they aren't trying to hide stuff. They're not trying to sugarcoat stuff, but they're fighting through it. They're listening to the leadership. But I, I again, I want to uh, mention this because I was just talking to someone about this and we're so early. Most companies, it's a year, two, three, sometimes four and five years before they actually take off. And when we launched, you know, you have to remember Bitcoin was here and it went down. We're making money when so many people are stuck. And I just want you all to realize who you have, not just on the executive team, but you have to realize there's whatever there is on the call this morning. There's powerhouse industry leaders 
in this company already powerhouses. And so I really want everybody to, to step back and recognize where you sit, what we have our hands on, but most importantly, just think about where we're going to be a year, two, three, four years from now with what David and Coach and Muhammad and the team are putting together. I think that's the, the thing that I'm most grateful for is realizing the leaders that we have with the Leslie's, with the Zach's, with the Susan's, you know, the Brens. And, and I'm not, those are just people that popped up onto my screen I'm looking at, but you have to realize the best of the best people are going to be here because of the software, because of the opportunity. The people that want to hopscotch from business to business, that's cool, but recognize where we sit. Founders Club will be a monster one, two, three years from now. And understand, everybody, you're here in the beginning. So I know that kind of twisted it away from what you're asking, Breezy, but you know, the bottom line, I'm just so thankful. Um, and it just re-resonated with me after my conversation with my friend about different companies and different opportunities that take the three and four and five years to really gain traction to where we are with EasyBot and more importantly, where we're going because of David's vision and, and Muhammad and, and coach, you know, it's just so refreshing to have an executive team that actually listens, you know, when Brent has an idea or Susan has an idea, or Zach has an idea, you know, they listen to it. Will they implement everything? Absolutely not. But you all have to realize where you sit. These people are all going to be friendly to everybody as the company goes and as the numbers increase. But you're here early enough where we can truly truly have friendships with David, with Coach and Muhammad. Not everybody's going to have that chance. They'll always be nice. They'll always take pictures as we blow up big arenas and, and travel around the world and stuff. But you're here early enough to have a personal friendship with them where that will never go away. And I, I tell people it's different at the top. We've all heard the old adage, the people at the top make all the money. Well, here's what I'll say to each and every one of you. You couldn't get any closer to the top unless you peeled off 10 million and started your own deal. You're working with Mr. Charles. You're working with Coach. You're working with Muhammad. And I really want you all to remember that because one, two, three, four years from now, people are going to go, wow, you were there. You were there when they had 50 and 100 people on calls. You were there when there was 70 Founders Club members. Yeah, we are. And so that's the thing that I want everybody. Again, I know it's a little tangent, but it really resonated when I was talking to one of my friends today about a company um, and where he is with his project and where we are with this project. And we started laughing. And it's like most companies do take three and four and five years to get going. And what EasyBot has done, and especially with David heading it up on the backside, it's just amazing. So uh, breezy, sorry, I tan I went on to tangent, but David came back. So I guess I took up all the minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, well, I, you are amazing. I, Go ahead, David. <laughs> I, I said, buy me a little time. Michael took it seriously. I appreciate you. Uh, always good to hear from you, Michael. You're, you're so inspiring. And uh, man, it's just, you know, there's a lot to celebrate uh, when you get on this journey and you see what we're, what we've already accomplished and what we're set out to accomplish. Uh, it's hard to, to to turn it off when you get started. Uh, thank you, Michael, for kicking us off this morning. Abdur, I see your hand up, and I'm going to look for one more person. Uh, just quick word of what you're, grat what you're grateful for. Again, guys, I want to see it in the chat. And I'm going to stress that I said this a couple of weeks ago. This section of our of our training every Saturday is, is so important uh, for who we are as a culture, as a community, and who, who you guys are. You know, what direction do you want to be pointed in? You want to be thinking today about the, all the stuff that didn't go right in your week. You want to think about all the stuff that's going to stress you out next week. Or do you want to be focused on the things that are already going amazing for you? All the things that you could choose to celebrate so that you can replicate those things as you go into your coming week. That's where we want you to be pointed. And so, Abdur, come on in. I want to hear from you. And then, Susan, you're up next, and we're going to jump into our call. All right, good morning. Good, good afternoon. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever it is. It's one of those good things. I talked last week. I just got in two weeks ago. 
Um, I've been network marketing since 1997. Um, I absolutely love it. I love the fact that, um, well, the first first thing I'm thankful for is the fact that I woke up this morning in a, with an opportunity to actually help the human beings become better people and get in the position of freedom and actually um, be able to carry that forward from generation to generation. I believe this company is going to do that. I'm glad to be part of it. I'm glad to know you guys. All you, all you guys it sound like very exciting. I mean, it's like, it's just a beautiful thing to be here. And that's what I wanted to say this morning. Thank you for that. I do appreciate it. Indeed. We're, we are excited. We're really, really excited to be here and excited that you're here with us. Thank you for joining us and getting started and then just jumping in and adding your voice to the conversation. All right, Susan. Your time to shine, Susan. Hey there. Hello. I was going to keep my gratitude to myself, but you put you 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 pressured me into it. <laughs> hey, right. Come on. You want to hear? Oh, that? I I have a few, but they're I'll, I'll make them all quick. I'm grateful to be here. Um, I'm grateful that you uh, start this call with the gratitude. I start every day with gratitude and end every day with gratitude, and it truly is my compass. So I love that you do this here, and. An impromptu added uh, gratitude. I'm grateful that you're here, Raheem, and it is lovely to hear you come out and speak on this call. Love working with you. So thank you for speaking up. And then my overall greater gratitude right now is for technology advancement, wellness, and healthcare, and the freedom to do that. Because just over a week ago, I came through a fairly in-depth uh, procedure and not super common, but uh, stem cell protocol, which was fairly advanced and more complex than my other six. It was my sixth one, but it's life changing. So immense gratitude for the, the ability and the freedom to take advantage of the science and technology available to us for our well-being. And it really is working like this and having the freedom to work um, to our own schedule, work around our lifestyle, and to be able to have an incredible strategy like the EasyBot strategy to put our money to work for us so that we can go ahead and really customize how we live our life and how we make our money. So that's my gratitude today. All right. Lots, lots to be grateful for. So much. Thank, thank you for that, Susan. I'll round out today's uh, gratitude session. Uh, and I'm particularly grateful because for to, because today uh, is my mom's birthday. And so really excited. If it weren't for her having a birthday, I wouldn't be here. So I'm definitely grateful. Happy uh, birthday, for, mom. Yeah, <laughs> birthday, mom. Mom is uh, celebrating today. I'm celebrating for her. She had, a, um, she had a medical situation a few months ago and she's done an amazing job recovering. And I'm just really, really proud of just watching her strength and her resilience and the mental clarity that she brings to every experience so that uh, that's been an example for me for my whole life. And so I really appreciate her and I celebrate her today. She turns, I won't say her age, but she turns another year <laughs> older. Um, so what a beautiful day. What a what an absolutely fantastic day to join with other people that are on a journey with you. And, and what's this journey all about? Uh, if you're on a call for, with us for the first time, I want to welcome you. And I'm just going to give you a real quick insight into what we do here every Saturday. Um, we are a automated crypto trading platform called EasyBot. And EasyBot is set to revolutionize crypto trading. And we're going to do that by making it really simple. You know, there are a lot of people coming into cryptocurrency. And we have uh, reports telling us to expect a billion people by the end of the year, guys. A billion people by the end of 2022, that's a lot of folks. And it means that there are a lot of people that are coming into this space that are going to be lost. They're going to be confused. There are a lot of folks looking to take advantage of this new wave of people coming in. And if you've been around crypto for a while, if you're on this call, likely you've had at least one or two experiences. Uh, you know how many pitfalls and potholes are out there, how many scammers want to take your crypto from you. There's so many places to get hurt. And what we are building here in EasyBot is an oasis away from all of that. We, we, what we know is that the average person just wants a vehicle that they can count on, that ideally they can also control, that will help them to build financial freedom. And they want to be able to do it in a way that they're supported and it's consistent and they don't have to worry about somebody robbing, stealing, or lying to them. And that's what we're building here together. And so the culture of that company really gets forged amongst the people that join this call on a Saturday. That's why we start our call with gratitude. 
It's why we enjoy each other's company. It's why we're particular about the things that uh, we make decisions around, our principles, our values. And so, guys, we, we, we don't go into, if you're on, the, on this call for the first time, we don't go into the details of EasyBot. Today's call is a business builder call. So we really are focused on helping those who are sharing EasyBot with others, our affiliates. Uh, this conversation today is going to be around how to help you grow your business as an affiliate. Every Saturday we get together, we want to be able to share a nugget or two that you can take into your week that you can apply and see a result from. Guys, uh, if you come to this call every single Saturday and you're just listening, that's great. The information is good and eventually some of it seeps in and before you know what you're doing things you might not have thought about. But if you're intentional about applying the information, then you can actually see transformation in your business. You know, you hear, you hear us referring to big builders. You see some of the people in our organization that have done amazing things. Every single one of them started from scratch at some point and made some decisions consistently over time that yielded results that put them in a position where people now look at them and respect the outcome. But nobody started there. Everybody starts at the same place and so what we hope to accomplish here at EasyBot is to create not just a product that's easy to use, but also a referral opportunity that's easy to use as well. It's easy for you to use the EasyBot affiliate referral program for you to accelerate your earning potential. The reason you're here using EasyBot is because you're interested in improving your financial future. And so we want to give you a vehicle to help accelerate that. And if you share EasyBot with others, you've got the benefit of not only knowing that you're doing something good for people that are looking for a solution, but you've got the financial benefit of taking part in our affiliate rewards plan. So I wanna to talk to our affiliates. So we, I'm gonna kick off today and talk about some announcements. Uh, I'm gonna share some things that have happened or come up over the, over the last couple of days, last week or so. And, uh, and then I'm gonna share a couple ideas or a couple of things with you guys and then open up for Q and A. So again, if you're on the call for the first time, do me a favor just so we can acknowledge you. If this is your first time on any EasyBot call or on our Saturday EasyBot call, our Saturday Business Builder call, just say me in the chat. And so I want the family here to welcome and recognize you. And then I want you to feel especially welcome to ask any questions as we get towards the end of today's call. All right, so I wanna kick off by uh, going into a discussion around losing trades. Okay, so we sent out a couple of communications this week, and I'm going to take us, the page I'm going to take us to here is the support page. So for those of you who are new to us, we do have a robust knowledge base at support.easybot.com, and you can find lots and lots of answers to frequently asked questions and all the kinds of things that you need to know to hopefully make your experience with EasyBot even easier. So one of the things we added to the knowledge base just here recently is this article, does EasyBot only close profitable trades? And so the reason we published this is because we had an experience in the last week where the market just got incredibly volatile for, for a short window of time, actually. It wasn't like it was the entire day. If, I don't, if I'm not mistaken, I think when we looked at the window of time, it might've been like an hour and a half or something. Like it was, it was a compressed window of time, but an expansive amount of volatility. And when we talk about volatility, we're talking about uh, a lot of volume. So a lot of people participating in the market and large swings in price. So price is way up and it's way down and it's happening very, very quickly. So when we launched EasyBot, we, you, and if you've been around for a while, you've seen that we have uh, material and we've said numerous times that EasyBot never closes a losing trade. And so we're modifying, and you've probably heard me say this a few times, but we're going to continue to say it until we get it all modified. But uh, we want to clarify the, the, uh, what you should understand, especially from the standpoint of uh, our business builders, how you should talk about this particular feature set with EasyBot, where we say it doesn't close on losing trades. So the modification that, we want, that, we, that I would want you guys to walk away from today's call being clear about is that the, the strategy is designed in such a way that it will never close on a losing trade. And really what you need to understand is that what we're doing is spot trading. We're buying one, one coin in exchange for another, and we're always waiting for the price to go up. But inevitably the price does go down and we have a strategy that allows us to take advantage of that price going down, but we don't use leverage or contract trading or anything that puts our uh, funds at risk. So in the event that the market has this extreme volatility, there are, some, there are some things that become 
out of anybody's control, uh, certainly out of our control. There's some events that are happening on the exchange that we, to some extent, are subject to. So I'm going to go through this video that we, it's a really short video, and, uh, and then we can talk about it. I'm going to pause for just a minute to ask, uh, to answer any questions that you guys have, because I really want there to be clarity. I'm going to stop so I can also share my audio. All right, let's watch this. About trading with EasyBot, it's consistent profits. But what does it mean if I see a negative trade? The EasyBot strategy is designed to only close profitable trades. However, in rare instances, a trade may close with a small loss. Let's explore why this could happen. First, in order to understand the answer to this question, we need to know a little bit about market orders. Now, this is a great article from NerdWallet. Market orders, according to NerdWallet, are buy or sell orders that are placed immediately. The trade is executed almost instantly, whether it's a buy or a sell. The biggest advantage of market orders is that the trade usually gets processed right away. But since the cryptocurrency market is so fast and unpredictable, you could have an issue with slippage. Slippage is the difference between the expected price and the actual price. And that can happen when the market order isn't executed immediately. This is a great article from Binance Academy. It talks all about slippage. And if you'd like to do a deep dive and learn a lot more, uh, just Google that headline and it'll take you to this article. Lots and lots of good reading if you'd like a deeper dive. All right, so according to Binance Academy, slippage occurs when a trade settles for an average price that is different than what was initially requested. It often happens when executing market orders. If there's not enough liquidity to complete your order or the market is volatile, the final order price may change. Now let's look at a couple examples from EasyBot where we see slippage. So here's an example where the requested price was 6.5574 and the executed price was 6.5435. No big deal, we still made a profit, 0.2216. Another example, we, our requested price here is 0.478045 and the executed price, 0.476111. In this instance, EasyBot still closed in profit. Another example, 32.98 was the requested price and the executed price 32.82. Again, closing in profit. So slippage is common, we see it regularly, but every now and again, we can see a situation where slippage causes a different outcome. In this case, we had a requested price of 0.4258, an executed price of 0.4078, and that resulted in a negative 0.56 loss on this trade. Another example here, 0.7688, executed price 0.7409, resulting in a very, very small loss. Now, this can happen, and generally speaking, they're very, very low numbers when slippage happens and it creates loss. Now, speaking of closing trades, EasyBot, as of September 21st, 2022, has closed nearly 1.5 million trades in profit. Now we do see slippage from time to time. And since March 16th of 2022 to September 21st, we've seen 4,867 trades closed in loss due to slippage. Now let's put that in perspective. 99.7% of all the trades that EasyBot has closed have been profitable trades. And so I'm going to leave you with this final note from Warren Buffett, who said the most important quality for an investor is temperament, not intellect. And what's exciting about EasyBot is that it allows you to take the emotion out of your trading. While people are panicking and responding in fear or greed or anxiety or excitement, EasyBot is simply executing an algorithm. And 99.7% of the time, that algorithm creates profit. We're excited that you've chosen to use EasyBot, and we hope that you continue to have a fantastic experience. Okay, guys, so let me pause here for just a second because this is an important topic, and I want to make sure that there's clarity for everyone on the call. So if you have any questions related to what we just talked about, uh, I want before we get any further down into today's conversation, uh, drop that question in the chat. I can't see the chat, so Breezy, help me out here. 
Um, but I'd prefer that you raise your hand, ask your question if you have one. While you guys are thinking about a, any questions, if you have any, I want to take you back to a screen and I want to highlight something in case you missed it. All right, so as of September 21st, our total, our total count, trades closed for EasyBot members, 1 million, just, just over, uh, just under, excuse me, 1.5 million, 1,497,673 at the, at the time we captured this. Guys, if you remember, I want to, I, I, maybe you haven't been around this long, but I think most of you on the call today have, have been with us at least a month and a half. And we posted a celebratory announcement on August 13th. Anybody remember what that was? Or want to take a guess? Anybody, you can drop it in the chat or unmute and let me know. Thank you guys, 1 million trades close. On August 13th, after five, five months after our launch, we were celebrating our first 1 million trades closed. On September 21st, five weeks after we celebrated our first 1 million trades, we closed another half a million trades. The trajectory that we're on guys is absolutely phenomenal. And this is a, a really exciting, very, very clear, distinct example of uh, the train that we're on together. And this relates to a plug for our Founders Club and why you want to get on Founders Club train with the rest of us. Uh, because if you understand the trajectory that we're on and what's likely to keep happening, I, I, you know, for me, it's a simple question is, is EasyBot likely to continue to grow or not? And so far, the numbers suggest that we are definitely in the right trajectory of a company that's growing. And we haven't really gotten to the point of explosive growth yet. This is just us churning along. We're growing every single day. We're adding new bots, new members at a steady clip every single day. At some point, the, 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 the light, the, the uh, match gets lit and it just explodes. And the question is, are you positioned? Are you prepared? Are you mentally, emotionally, physically? Is your game plan prepared? And that's what we join every Saturday to talk about to help you get there. So hopefully this gives you some perspective and some things that, uh, that you can appreciate about what's happening. It's closed nearly 1.5 million right. trades. The other thing I want to bring to, or I just want to make sure that we saw and we we could highlight here is just these numbers. So, you know, we talked about the uh, the forty eight hundred and sixty seven trades closed in a loss, totaling seven hundred and eighty seven dollars. Um, so we want to we want to make sure that as we're talking about this, that we're putting it in perspective. So yeah, we can't guarantee what's going to happen on the exchange. This is really the point of this discussion: is that there are some things that are out of our control. Slippage happens. Uh, if you've ever been involved in, in trading professionally, you just understand it's par for the course. It comes with the territory. And so we're, we're modifying our language to, to acknowledge that, but we, we don't want to send the missed message or, or, or confuse the message that somehow our promise or our belief in, in what EasyBot's capable of doing has in any way changed. It's only gotten better since EasyBot's launched, but we want to set an, an honest expectation of members because when a 16 cent loss shows up or a dollar or you know half a cent, it's it's a violation of what that customer, what your member might expect of EasyBot. And so we would just wanna we, we wanna correct that before we get too far down the road so that the expectations align. I think 99.7% is certainly something that we could be proud of. There's no reason to, to uh, yeah, that, I think that's something that we can be proud of and I'll leave it there. So I don't, doesn't look like we have any questions around that issue. So hopefully everybody's clear. Um, if you do have some questions, the reason we raised it this week again is because we had uh, we had one day this week in particular, we saw this massive spike in trades. We actually closed more trades that day than we'd ever closed on any single day. I believe it was just over 32,000 trades that we closed that day. And we had a little bit of a spike in negative trades. Again, just the extreme volatility happening in the market. So we had a lot more questions about this particular topic. And so we wanted to address it for everybody. All right, uh, Tarek, I see you. And then Tony, the juice, come on in guys. Uh, Tarek, come on in first. Okay, good good day everyone. Can you hear me? We can, yes we can. Okay, uh, my question is if uh, the examples you gave are of, uh, in the slippage of negative, but can it happen in the same way that when it closes for, uh, 
a positive trade that it can even give you a higher uh, amount of interest in the same way uh, around? Yeah, and that happens as well. So we will submit a requested price and get a uh, and and get an executed price that's higher than the requested price. That happens as well. Okay. So then the, the the that the fact is that the slippage can also be a positive. Not always it's uh, it's negative. Yeah, it, it's it's really just again par for the course. But it it's just kind of an it's it's the experience that our users have, right? So if if they expect something and experience something different then we want to resolve that and clear that up for our, for our users okay. and we want to empower you to be able to do the same. Okay, my, and my second point is, uh, okay, if you've calculated it and you've, uh, from experience, we found that it's 99.7%. I think in the presentation, we've got the amount 99.99. So maybe we need to adjust it to get it more clearer or something on the presentation. Yeah, and it, it might seem like a, 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 a minute point, but it isn't. And so if you go and look at the EasyBot presentation that's online right now, it no longer says 99.99%. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much. Yeah, already done. Thank you, appreciate you guys. Uh, Tony, choose, come on Tony. Yeah, good afternoon uh, or good morning, everyone. I hey. uh, just, just wanted to find out, uh, can we use that video that you just showed as a prospecting tool or can I get a, how, can, how can I get a copy of that video? Uh, okay, good question. Tell me, I'm just, because I'm really curious, how do you see uh, utilizing that content for prospecting? How would you do that? You know, one liner, two liner, add the video and then get, get some, some results. Got, you, you think the message? I'm, so what I'm what I'm trying to gather from you is: Do you think the message in that video uh, attracts somebody who's who's already trading? And what, what's the what's the thing that grabs their attention in that? Um, the the video would actually apply to somebody more to somebody who's already experienced, mm -hmm. who has some kind of knowledge about trading. Okay. And the point, you know, the, some points on the video is kind of is like it's a sizzle for them. And that would just encourage them to get some more information. Got it. Um, yeah, so we let me think about that. We, I, I don't believe that is a public link uh, to that video in the in the knowledge base. So let me let me think about that. Let's see what I can do for you before the end of the call. All right, thanks a lot. Yep, for sure. Okay, um, good questions. And yeah, guys, as a, just going back to the note you know, in response to Tarek's question, the uh, the PDF version. Uh, of the EasyBot presentation, the one that that uh, that's linked from our resource guide, that's linked from the dashboard, that is a live link and it changes periodically. We do make iterations to that presentation. So I'm going to strongly recommend that if you're ever using it, pulling it up, uh, please always go to the link to make sure that you have the most recent version. That uh, that presentation was updated, I believe, yesterday, and uh, and there are additional updates coming. So just a just a quick reminder for you there. All right, guys, I'm going to move on into uh, something else that we I just want to bring your attention to that we're excited to launch, and you should see this coming into your EasyBot. Uh, let me figure out where my page is here. Uh, you, we are launching something called, ooh, uh, it, we are launching internal wallet transfers. And I thought I had this page open, and I think I might have closed it. So I don't have it to share with you right now. Um, but so let me just talk to you about it. So internal wallet transfers is, uh, is something that we're really excited about because what it's going to allow you to do is transfer funds from your EasyBot wallet into uh, anybody on your team. So it, you can only go into your organization. So you can't go outside your organization into your upline. So anybody in your level one or below, uh, you'll be able to send a internal wallet transfer to that individual. And so a couple of reasons that, that we think that's going to be helpful is, uh, you know, we, we know that we have people that are getting introduced to crypto for the first time. You know, they've, they're going through a KYC process. They're trying to figure out how to get access to crypto, but they're excited. They want to get started. And so you want to help them by funding their EasyBot wallet and you guys work out whatever you do, or you gift it to them or whatever the case, like it, you, you, you decide how you best utilize it, but we're uh, we're excited to roll that tool out because 
Uh, it's been something we've we've had a request for for some time. So look for that coming this week. And then that is going to proceed an, another exciting rollout that we're we're starting testing for this coming week, and that is our personalized onboardings. So personalized onboarding is a ninety nine dollar feature. And basically what your what your prospect has the ability to do, somebody that's just getting started with EasyBot, uh, you know, as easy as we try to make it, I'm sure all of you understand and can appreciate that sometimes we just want somebody else to do it for us. Just somebody take me by the hand and just don't leave me out here trying to figure this out myself. I see Michael laughing. Michael's, yeah, Michael, you're going to be the poster child for our personalized onboardings. Um, because it's not about how smart you are. It's just sometimes people are busy. Sometimes technology can be intimidating. And so we're really excited to roll this out. Uh, basically what you can expect when, when uh, one of your prospects purchases personalized onboarding is uh, they're going to go through a checkout. So th you'll see a dashboard card uh, that will be an option for them. Uh, as, we out, as we update our onboarding flow, they'll actually see it in the onboarding, onboarding as well. But when they decide to purchase personalized onboarding, uh, they're going to pay the $99. Uh, by the way, you get a $20 commission. And I'll come back and talk about why we're paying a commission on that here in a moment. Uh, but you get, they pay the $99. And then once they've completed their checkout, and that $99 must come from their EasyBot wallet. So they've, they've, they've got to have funds in their EasyBot wallet. This ties back into why internal wallet transfers might be helpful, right? Because as an example, you might be uh, onboarding or you might be starting a member who can't figure out how to get funds into their EasyBot wallet. So uh, you, you forward the, the 99 into their wallet so they can complete that checkout. And then we get them onboarded for you and get the funds moved in and however you guys work it out. So it just gives you a tool that you can use uh, to help them get going. So the member has now checked out uh, for the personalized onboarding. The next page they're going to see is going to be a calendar scheduling page. So immediately after checkout, they're going to pick a time, a day and time where they're going to meet with their onboarding specialist. And so it's a 45 minute uh, schedule that we have, I believe 45 minutes that we have scheduled for them. So more than enough time. Uh, we want, what, we're, what they can expect during this time is we're going to, we're going to meet them wherever they are, right? So the, the whole idea here is we're going, to, we're going to help deal with whatever the barriers to entry your, your prospects might be facing. So we're going to meet them where, wherever they are. If they haven't even started getting a crypto account, they haven't gotten KYC, um, whatever it is. Now, obviously, we, we want them as far along the process as possible. And you're going to do yourself and your team a service if you can help get your people as close to the finish line as possible. But this service is here to back up, back you up. And so for those situations where it's a, where it's a value to the member, uh, they're going to take them through the entire process, help get them uh, get their, their first bots started. So they'll start trading before they're completed, uh, have completed that call. And then they're just going to walk them through the entire platform. So just a, a personal guided tour through all things EasyBot, help them to get connected to the membership app, answer any questions about the platform. And so it's a, it's a real white glove experience that just ensures a person gets introduced into EasyBot in the most wholesome, uh, healthy way so that they're ready to get a, they're, they're ready to go, they're ready to have a fantastic experience. That person who goes through that experience is going to be a much more committed, loyal person on your team. Whether they're sharing EasyBot with others or they're just trading, at the end of the day, guys, the thing that, that, uh, that we have going for us with EasyBot is that once somebody sees the power of what EasyBot does, how it can help build income in the crypto space for them over, and especially the power of compounding over time, we've got a built-in mechanism that keeps our churn rate, our, our cancellation rate really, really low. But if you can set this person up to have an amazing experience, then we're going we're gonna to compress that number even more. And if you want to explode your income, there's a couple of ways to do that. So you can fill a bunch of people, you can get a, you can get a massive number of leads and then just kind of hope for the best, or you can figure out how to get the folks that you have and the attention that you already have, how to elevate their experience, how to set them up for success. And so that's what this personalized onboarding is going to help provide for those who choose it. So we're excited. Uh, look, we're going to start testing that uh, in the coming week. And then uh, we may actually announce a launch, a, a go live date as early as next week. All right, Uncle Les, I see your hand up. Come on in. 
Good morning. Hey. Good morning, David. How are you? Fantastic. Thank you for everything. And actually, I'm grateful for you, my brother. I appreciate you. And your mom. And thank yeah. you, because without her, we wouldn't have you. So thank you and grateful for her as well. Happy birthday. Yeah. Um, if we choose as business partners to, let's say we have a heavy hitter and we want to pay that course for them, is that something we can do through the back office as well? Like maybe do an internal transfer to their wallet and then they can, as a gift to them to get, like if somebody stop me as a VIP, I'm more than happy to help them get started. Because especially if they're going to put $20,000 in their bots. So can we do that for them? Yeah. So again, that's kind of why the internal wallet transfer was a, is a precursor for us launching the personalized onboarding is because the, awesome. the the ideal person that we're supporting with personalized onboarding oftentimes is going to have a challenge just getting money to their easy wallet so this just helps you help that person if you choose to take advantage of it that way but yes absolutely uh you can certainly do that all right um i was going somewhere and i I just drew a blank over. Oh, I, I remember I was going to come back to telling you guys why we pay a commission on the personalized onboarding. So anything that you incentivize, you you ex, you ex, ex, accelerate the likelihood that it will be duplicated. And so we want this service to be something that you guys have an incentive to duplicate because the more uh, the more people that that are started that go through a a really healthy holistic onboarding experience, the healthier your organization is going to be. And so personalized onboardings are definitely a way that we can get the most elevated experience for a new member getting started. And separate to, separate from that, we are uh, completely revamping our entire onboarding process from the sign up page all the way through uh, helping a person get started trading. So those two things are, are happening at the same time, but personalized onboardings, guys, is something we've been talking about for a while. So we're right there at the finish line getting ready to launch that. Um, want you guys to encourage your team members to utilize it, get paid for it, you get paid to help a person's get set up successfully. So definitely utilize it. Uh, to your point, Uncle Les, uh, you know, it, wholesale cost to you technically is, is $79, right? Because you're getting a $20 commission on it. All right. So um, one other thing, and I just lost this page. So give me one second and let me pull up something here. We launched a contest this week. Anybody know what our contest is for the month of, uh, for the month of, what are we in, September? Anybody know? Uh, I can't see the chat. Anybody got it yet? <clears throat> uh, Zach said upgrades and I said prize for spinning wheels for upgrades. <laughs> yeah, I'll make sure we are. We're dialed in here, guys. We got a, I think it's an exciting contest. So you, you guys are about to tell me if you agree. So we, we're we we're doing a spin the wheel contest for the month of September. And it's like a, so what we call a fun finish close for the month of September. All right, so here we go. Um, for every two points earned, you get a chance to spin the wheel. And we've got a couple of top prizes. You can win up to $500 by spinning the wheel. So we're gonna have prizes from 10, 20, 50, 100, 250, and up to $500. And for every two points earned, you get to spin this wheel. So we hope this is gonna be a lot of fun. You get to earn one point uh, when you, anybody on your team, your direct level one uh, purchases or, or moves to an advanced package and two points if they purchase an, a VIP package. Now, what's cool about this is the individual themselves. So if you guys have been sitting on the fence or somebody uh, that you know is sitting on the fence, hadn't yet decided that they want to upgrade, well, their upgrade definitely gives them a chance at participating in our spin the wheel. So not only the member, but also their direct sponsor earns the same amount of points for that activity. So every advanced upgrade actually distributes two points, one to the member and one to their sponsor. All right, guys. So get dialed in here, get your team members. Hopefully you, you, you guys are excited about it. We tried to make something, uh, try to put something together here that would be fun and exciting. Very, very simple to do, just two points to participate. And we're doing the spin the wheel drawing. Uh, all the, the, let me drop this link here while I've got it. All right. 
So we are doing the live drawing on October 1st. That is a Saturday. So it's actually during our Saturday business builder call. So that's Saturday after next, or that's next Saturday. That's next Saturday. Yeah, that's next Saturday. So next Saturday, guys, uh, we're doing the business builder drawing. So you've got the rest of the, you got one more week to go, just really hit it hard and grab as many spins as possible. There's no limit to the number of spins you can have at the wheel. And I want you guys to start promoting for next week's Saturday's call. So here's what's exciting about what we're doing. So we're obviously going into the month of October. Uh, one of the things that, that you should know, if, particularly if you're, if you're new to this space, is uh, we generally tend to see things slow down in, in the direct sales referral marketing uh, arena as you get into the, as you get closer to the uh, think what in the U.S. would be Thanksgiving, uh, Christmas celebrated most places around the world. So as you get into the latter part of the year, you know things can slow down. But if you know that's about to happen, and now you do because I just told you, we can be intentional about how we create some momentum, and create some activity to get people excited. Guys, the number one thing that you can do is get your team members uh, plugged into our corporate calls. Get your team members to, to jump on this call. So we're giving you an incentive to bring people out to next week's Saturday's call. They've got to be present to spin the wheel. So if they're going to do the work and, uh, and, and, and have points, you got to show up on the call to be able to get your spin. So we, we're, we're using that as a motivation to hope, hopefully get your team members out. Also, uh, we're launching a series of very specific trainings into the month of in the month of October. So on October 1st, we'll get the first introduction into a series that we're going to do in the month of October, specifically talking about how to market your EasyBot business. And so that's going to be hosted by our very own Susan Batchelder. We're really excited to hear from her. She's going to come with some absolute nuggets for us. And so we're going to spend the month of, of October really, really focused on developing some specific skills. Again, we want to leave every one of our calls with some actionable steps that we can go back into our business, into our life, and we can make decisions that give us different results. So we're, we're gonna kick off October in a big, big way, spin the wheel, and we're, we're kicking off our October training series. So guys, start from now, Let, get, your, get your team members excited about it and get them here. We wanna see this call packed out next week, Saturday. We want 150 people on the call, that's our target. Can, we, can, can, I, get some, can I get some agreement let me ask a question on the call, show of hands, who's committed to us getting to 150 people on next week's call? You're actually gonna do something tangible, like you're gonna make an actual effort yourself to make sure that we hit our target for next week. Who's in with me? Anybody? I gotta see some hands. I see three, a couple of thumbs ups, a couple of me's, thank you. Thank you, it means a lot. All right, we wanna pack this out, not because we want to inflate our ego about how many people show up. Guys, if 20 people or two people show up on this call, I'm good either way because I'm just doing what I decided, what I've committed to do, right? So I, I don't I don't need uh, the numbers to validate that, but we do know that if we are able to share this information with more people in our organizations, then that is meaningful to the momentum that we're going to gather. All right, so we got a bunch of hands up. Are you guys coming in to ask questions or are you just saying you're down with the cause? All right. The hands are going down. Hey, Jay Rivera, you uh, you down or you want to come in and say something? 150 people. That's right, Les. Uncle Les. Uh, all right, Jay, if you want to come in, your hands up. So come on in with your question or comment. Thank you for that, Michael. Everyone set a goal of three personals on the call. There you go. Everybody on this call, just bring three people with you. All right. Uh, somebody unmuted coming in? No. All right. So I want to I want to touch on I'm going to keep it moving because I want to leave plenty of time for uh, some Q and A. So I want to touch on two stories, and then we're going to wrap up today's call. So the first one is if you were on our call yes last week, <clears throat> excuse me, we talked last week about uh, well, you tell me what what did we talk about? And not breezy. I I breezy knows the answer. I want to know that the rest of you know. What did we talk about last week Saturday? What was our what was our 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 primary topic that I walked us through last week Saturday? Anybody? Nobody knows. Oh man. <laughs> Anybody? Nobody. Tarek, come on in. Okay, we, we talked about you need to know your pace and the number of uh, people joining you 
weekly and how many people are upgrading and how many people are trading and information like that. Excellent. Thank you. Tarek, I'm sending you $25 to your EasyBot wallet. Thank you for that. Uh, Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Charles. We appreciate you. So uh, Tarek's absolutely right. Last week, Saturday, we talked specifically about how to use the uh, organization module. So you, inside your EasyBot back office, you go to the affiliate center and you can now see our entire organization. It's a tool we're really, very, really excited to be able to have delivered because now you get and you've got total visibility into your organization by level, uh, by upgrade, by age. You can sort and find all the information that's that's important for you to be able to know where to go and where to point your efforts and your energy. And so I want to highlight uh, an example of of that. And uh, this is something something was shared with me this week. So somebody got a, a message and it was actually shared with me because they wanted to validate that it was a legitimate message coming from somebody in EasyBot. And so I've blanked out some of the uh, some of the more personal information. So many of you on the call know Mark Barenko. I don't think Mark's on the call with us today, but uh, this is a message that was sent to Mark. He says, hello, I'm Mark Barenko, the national director of EasyBot in Spain. You registered at, and guess what? He knows their username because he's using the tool that we talked about last week. So he's he referenced their username. So he lets them know, listen, I know who you are, I know how you registered. So it creates, it, or at least the intention here is, is to create an authentic connection, say, I, I, I know who you are. And then you'll see he does that at, at the end of this email. Uh, you registered as such and such when hardly anyone knew about the project. And today it's evolution and results have been incredible. That's why after four months, I'd like to know if you're interested in working at EasyBot. Now that at EasyBot created a little bit of confusion. Um, Mark is our Spanish national director, so English is not his first language, but this message is absolutely spot on and, and the intent behind it is what I'm highlighting for us. If you're not interested or prefer Ponzi, please ignore this message. And if you haven't started working with EasyBot yet, the safest and most transparent project, I'm sharing this tutorial with you. And then he shares a Google doc um, and then remember it's free. And then he has a link to start here if you have any questions, access the EasyBot Telegram channel. So he he, he uh, shares a personal Telegram channel, and then he gives the user, the person he's sending this message to, their registered EasyBot email, just to jog their memory. Maybe they forgot how they registered. So um, guys, this is really, uh, this was something I was very, very uh, proud of. I reached out to Mark because it came to my attention because somebody wanted to validate that it actually came from, uh, that it was a legitimate message. And so Mark said, yeah, actually this person that he sent this message to isn't even on his level one. He, Mark, reached out to this person. I think they may be two or three levels below him. Mark was reaching into his organization, finding people in his organization, using that organization module that we talked about last week, and asked those people that weren't directly active, but had some people in their organization. So that at some point they'd gotten some referrals and maybe he's seeing that they, they, they weren't trading, but he as a leader is reaching into his organization saying, hey, can I help you? Would you mind if I made a personal introduction and offered to, to, uh, to assist your people? And so Mark has been doing that in support of his team. And that's an example of what that looks like. And so uh, I just want to celebrate Mark Barenko and the example of actually implementing these kinds of things that really do make a difference. You know, it's the little things, it's the little steps that we take. And guys, if if you take anything at all from the calls that we share and the nuggets that we drop on these calls and you 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 implement them consistently, over time you're just going to get different results. So that's a fantastic example. I'm going to share one other example of uh, just leadership in our organization. And this is from our CEO himself. And so guys, I, I want you to know that what, you know, what we talk about here, like it's, we live it, we breathe it. And I'm going to share a conversation that actually just happened here recently. And, and Muhammad doesn't even know I'm sharing it, but I did blank out everything. I think that's personal. I, I hope I got it all. Um, all right. So this is a conversation that Muhammad's having with somebody. And he says, isn't there a way influencers can start from nothing? It's, and he's, he's selling Muhammad at this point on um, why he should bring him on as an influencer. He's telling him it's going to be worth your while. And so Muhammad is in green. He says, yes, you don't have to be trading to start promoting or earning. 
he references somebody that has a, a large YouTube channel that started promoting and uh, just did an interview with Muhammad. And the next uh, next thing is he says, the, the individual says, yeah, I mean, I don't have any money to start. Muhammad says, you can still start promoting. Use your free account and earn his affiliate uh, the same as paid members. And as soon as you get people to join and buy your package or start trading, you will start earning. So we're not a forcing affiliates to trade in order to be able to promote and earn. And so he says, oh, I see. And he says, I will bring in two very top leaders under my structure. And he says, I would love for you to call them on video as you called me too for better conviction. And Muhammad said, that's great. If you want to have them, if you want to have a Zoom with them to support you, I am ready. And then the guy says, that's after I've spoken. So here's a conversation where you've got this, the CEO of, of uh, EasyBot in a conversation with somebody who hasn't even started with EasyBot yet. And the, the one thing that I want to point out as we're looking at the conversation that might be obvious, but I want to make sure everybody understands is that it might not be obvious to everybody else that you don't have to start trading in order to take advantage of the EasyBot affiliate program. And so I love the way that, that uh, Muhammad was able to shift his attention to what's possible. Here's, where you can, here's what you can do. So a lot of times people are going to give you all the reasons they can't do something, all their no's and all their obstacles. And the, the best salespeople just find a way around that obstacle. The, 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 the best way to help somebody is to help them see th to see that the obstacle doesn't even exist. It's not even it's not even real. So it's, it's you have an imagined obstruction in front of you, and so Muhammad does a, does a real good job of taking him around that and saying, "Hey, we've created the perfect solution for a person like you. Just start sharing with other people." But guys, I want what you don't see, and the reason why I'm sharing this call this this uh, message with you is the brilliance of what you don't see isn't in this message. The brilliance in why I'm sharing this with you is this individual that Muhammad is having this conversation with. Let me tell you where this conversation started. This started about two weeks ago. About two weeks ago, Muhammad and I were, uh, we were on YouTube and we were doing something I encourage you guys to do. And we talk about, uh, you know, allocate some time in your schedule and just show up for your business. And you, if you don't know what to do, just, just be present with your business. Just Find other people talking about EasyBot. Go through the presentation. Just get EasyBot in your system, in your blood, and, and be present with it. So Muhammad and I are on YouTube, and we come across, uh, we're, we're watching a couple of videos from some of you guys, some of the members, and just kind of getting a sense of, you know, who's out there, what messages are out there. And we come across this video talking about EasyBot being a scam. And... And he said a couple of things. So we watched the video right? and it was, you know, clearly he had done the least bit of, of, of homework or research. And, and, and I don't want to say anything negative because he is, he is joining us. But, um, but the, 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 the point here is this whole relationship, this whole conversation started from a person who had gotten some information about EasyBot and decided to do this expose on how EasyBot is a scam. And so your CEO does what very few people I've ever seen do. He reaches out to this person and he is able to connect with them. He spends time having a conversation on Telegram or WhatsApp and then schedules a Zoom call. And the two of them spend over an hour together on Zoom. Muhammad walks him through the entire company and through the entire product. And by the end of the Zoom call, he has a new best friend. And I share that for a couple of reasons. One, because I think it's important that you know the heart of your CEO, that this is a man that isn't sitting behind a desk just you know, waiting for the, 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 the chips to roll in. This is a man that's out here in the field looking for opportunities, and you might never know or see it, and he'll never tell you, but these are kinds of things that he's doing behind the scenes. And guess what? Every single person on this call can do those kinds of things as well. Look for opportunities, and sometimes those opportunities aren't necessarily going to be found in the places where you think you're going to find them. But if you show up for your business, inevitably, you're going to find that opportunities are waiting all around you. So here is an amazing opportunity. Here's a guy that has a successful YouTube channel, didn't know much about EasyBot. And because Muhammad was just present with his business, came across him, and now he's excited about getting out here and promoting. And, and you could see in that message, he's already thinking of a couple of other influencers that he could bring into the fold.
just a beautiful story. And 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 when Mohammed shared that today, I said, what a what a powerful turnaround from a person that was, you know, spreading uh, fear, uncertainty, and doubt about your company to somebody that is now looking for ways and support and promoting it. Guys, I'm going to leave us on that note. That's the last thing I wanted to share with you today. And I, I share that as a word of encouragement that opportunities all around you, okay? If you're on this call today and you understand what we have here in terms of the EasyBot opportunity, take advantage of just being present with your business. Set some time apart to be with your business. Could be an hour, two hours. Make some decisions, get intentional and show up. Just showing up is all you need to do. If you don't know where else to start, just start there. Just be present. And great things will happen. It might not happen overnight. Likely, it's not going to happen overnight. And EasyBot's not going to make you rich overnight. So we're really in alignment here. We're on a journey. We use that word a lot because we're, we're not selling that you're going to get rich quick, and that you're going to become a millionaire overnight. But we do have a tool that if you're committed to it, if you're consistent with it, can create financial freedom for you. You do have access to an affiliate rewards plan that can create financial freedom for you. And so get plugged in, guys. Hopefully, uh, there are some nuggets here that you can take and that inspire you to do something in your coming week that gives you transformative results. And I'm going to leave us with a few minutes for Q&A. So if there are any questions or comments, uh, anything you guys would like to close us off with, I'll give you a couple of minutes before we call it a day. Anybody? All right. You guys, are, you've been quiet the last couple of weeks. So I'm going to start my countdown because inevitably, like when I'm ready, really, really ready to close, somebody's going to raise their hand. There we go. Hey, Michael, come on in. Hey, David, again, as always, thank you. Appreciate you. And I just posted it in there, but everybody make sure, as I start, I said earlier, work towards having your three that starts on Monday. That doesn't start for next Saturday. It starts for Monday's call. So then those people will be having their, working towards having their three on next Saturday's call. It's a very simple process that's overlooked so much, but just work on having your three on Monday. Now they're going to be working towards their three. And guess what? If you only have two, then on Saturday, make sure you fill in the other slot and just keep doing that over and over. And you're going to have an explosion and you're going to have duplication and, you know, Someday, maybe we'll all have a thousand personals like Brent and Susan, but the bottom line is we want to just have the simple duplication utilizing the system that David and every the team has put in place, and that starts Monday. That doesn't start next Saturday. Have a great weekend, everybody. Again, David, thanks for all you do. Go enjoy your mom's birthday. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right, TC, you're up next. Come on in, sir. Thank you for taking my call. Uh, so all the date and time posted on the uh, back office, all Eastern time, right? Am I correct? Um, are you talking about the Zoom calendar or something yeah, else? Yeah, the Zoom calendar and post it inside my, the back office. Yeah, so the Zoom calendar, I believe, is all Eastern time. Okay. And there is a way to change it to your local time zone, but it is in Eastern. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? Coach Kane, I haven't heard from you in a little bit. Coach, are you in a position that? Hey, brother. Hey, we go. We we just want to hear your voice. Yeah, yeah. I. Uh, well, another phenomenal, phenomenal call, David. You're you're unbelievable. I'm uh, surrounded by geniuses, guys. Uh, just such an honor to to be a part of the executive team here. But more than that. Guys, our vision has been from the very beginning to create a tool that the average person could make money with without recruiting. And that's exactly what we have done here. We knew that if we had a product that truly worked, that the growth of the company would take care of itself. And uh, I'm, I'm out actually driving. Uh, uh, we're uh, getting ready to maybe get a hurricane coming this way to South Florida. So we had some errands we had to do and get done. So that's why I wasn't uh, 
wasn't vocal earlier, but David's phenomenal. Guys, we've got something that if you will take this and run with this, it will change your lives with the uh, uh, both aspects of the company. The product itself uh, can definitely bring you to financial freedom if you follow a strategy. And uh, that's one of the things I think that maybe we'll uh, – we'll do a class on is, um, or a, a short video on is how to figure out your own strategy with this bot and the potential that's here. Um, guys, it's unbelievable. And we knew if we had uh, a product that worked that really made people money uh, that the, like I said earlier, the company growth would take care of itself. And that's what's happening right now. Wow, David, to see that, uh, uh, you know, in five months, our bot helped people close over 1 million trades. And then in five weeks, we did nearly a half million more trades. Guys, right now is the time to get your piece of the pie. If you wait, somebody else is going to bring in your, your, your contacts, guys. It's going to happen. So I just challenge you. Uh, this is the easiest program I've ever seen to recruit. We have the funnel systems, we have the product, and we're in the right space with cryptocurrency. Uh, you know, you guys have been watching the market fall. We've been watching the bot make us money. It's that simple. So anyways, David, I love you, I appreciate you. And everybody on the call, we love you more than Bitcoin and pizza combined. I'm gonna turn it back to you, David. Thank you, Coach. Good to hear from you. Enjoy your Saturday. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Pam, come on in. Hi, David. And hey, hi, Coach Ken. Um, I'm just uh, letting you know, I've, um, I'm actually in Calgary, Alberta, and I moved to London, Ontario. But I have some people in Calgary, Alberta, that I'm introducing the program to. So I'm out here right now taking care of business. Right. And I am aware of all the wonderful things that are about to happen to us. So I just want to know, when will I be meeting Michael and you and everybody else? Like, aren't we going to have a big get together? I'm thinking yeah. maybe Dubai. I was actually watching the housewives of Dubai, <laughs> <laughs> but like we should be meeting somewhere in a year from now so we can all celebrate. I love my surrogate family, my new friends, and I love the fact that I'm going to be a millionaire, but like, can you let me know if you guys are working on that? Like, and you know, for our anniversary, like I'm willing to meet you guys anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we are actually uh, we're going to announce a date here before too long, but we are planning an anniversary event in March of 2023. So put that on the calendar. We'll have a date for you here shortly, uh, where we'll do a, a one or two day anniversary uh, live event in Dubai. So definitely, you get to meet us there. All right, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, come on in. Manuel, you should be able to unmute yourself. And if not, we'll get Tony. Come on in. Yeah, so any updates on the video? Oh, thank you for coming back to me. Let me get Emmanuel. And um, yeah, uh, when, yes, give me two seconds and I'll drop the link here for you in just a bit, okay? Manuel. Yeah, David. Yeah, David. David. Yes, we can. Oh, thank you, you, David, for a great call, and thank you, family. Um, it's not a question. Is the uh, the personalized onboarding um um and um program that not program um, that you just um share with us? Mm -hmm. Um, can it be an incentive for those who decided to be to start as a VIP on the first year? Can that be included? That ninety nine dollars. Um, yeah, we've already moved beyond that. So the, the uh, short answer is no, we've decided not to do that. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Sure, thanks. All right, thank you for your question. 
All right, Tony, I am, uh, and anybody else who'd like the direct Vimeo link, I am dropping that in the chat for you guys. There you go. All right, so grab that out of the chat. If there are no other questions, I want to leave you with uh, this thought for today. And I'll actually drop that in the chat for you. And I, I can't take credit for it, but I heard it this week, and, and it was so powerful that I had to write it down. And it just says simply that sometimes you go to training because you need the training. Sometimes you go to training because the training needs you. Guys, we appreciate you coming out every Saturday, being with us on this Business Builder call. Uh, sometimes you need the training. Sometimes you need the information. Uh, but always, you can guarantee that this training needs you. So we really do appreciate you being here. Appreciate you hanging out with us. And uh, please make sure that you don't come alone. Bring your team members with you. You feel free to unmute yourselves, Bree Breezy, if you can let everybody unmute themselves. We're going to wrap it up here today. And we look forward to seeing you guys on Monday and on our next Saturday call. Start building for Monday and Saturday. Good day, guys. Have a fantastic weekend, everybody. I appreciate it.